Hey everybody, how's it going? It's uh, Memorial Day weekend coming up and uh, I'm up here at the um, carport. I uh, got most of the wall done in the shelf. I'm not sure if I should put the shelves down the side or just leave that one at the end. I'm thinking maybe just this side and not that side. Because, I mean, here's the end. And you, you're going to shrink up the middle, you know, a little bit if you put on the shelves on the side. I still got six more boards to go to the top of that. I got to go get the tractor. And then I'm going to go ahead and drill some more holes in the garden. There's the garden. The tomatoes are about the same. They haven't really changed. Need some rain. It's supposed to rain this weekend. Like uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Thanks. Uh, yeah, getting there on that. Put the support in here to get the building squared up. Why not? The wall actually will hold, hold the squareness, I think. And uh, did some bush hogging yesterday. <laughs> Trying to get this. Uh, this mound up here a little bit, you know, not to where you can't mow over it, but I don't know if you can see it or not with this angle. But down so where the water comes down the side of the shed, it goes around the chicken coop, not through the chicken coop. Anyway, I uh, I just turned the, the little one's lights off. We don't let them out during the day when we leave. I leave but go to work and stuff. So, uh, I've been turning this heat light off. Because, um, I figured they were all feathered up. They even the ducks got good feathers. And, you know, turkey got good feathers. And uh, now it's uh, only going to the 50s today. It's 50 now. It's freaking windy and cold. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to, I think I'm going to turn it back on. <laughs> for at least for tonight. And then I'll turn it back on. But, uh, got the bees way down there. Getting ready to go up here and feed the animals. I uh, thought I'd be clever in my uh, corn garden. I'd run down the middle of the aisle and uh, spray weed killer just to kill the weeds out in the middle. And uh, it, uh, I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or the wind got it, but the whole row got wiped out. I'm out here brush hogging the field out here. Um, yeah, it's gonna take me a little while because uh, we have to go real slow. Not not that slow, but we have to go pretty slow. Um, got all that to do. But let me see. Um, you can see them over there. There's still up like a thousand stumps out here. Some of them are pretty. Um, Rotten down, that's rotten now, you know, they're breaking right off. But uh, still gotta cut a little high. And then there's that one that's a little high, and I gotta, I gotta fling the, uh, the thing up real high and fast so it don't tear my bush off up. But I got all that to do at about a uh, snail speed here. <laughs> so I uh, guess I'll get soon, uh, done sooner than later. <laughs> kind of um, windy and uh, cold today. It's only like 59, I think, for the high. The uh, Tonight's supposed to go down to the damn 40s. So, uh, yeah.
Hey everybody, how's it going? Hey, it's uh, Monday, the 5th of June, um, 23. I'm up here at the garden. I was going to do some more drilling. I got only a few more holes to go. But, my drill bit, the bottom, I guess it had so many rocks. Then ate the bottom thing off. I guess it broke off. CNC kind of broke off there. But, it ain't doing nothing. I need to, guess I might have to buy another one on the Amazon. <laughs> but uh that was I think that one shot. And I got all all these with the weeds sticking out real tall are still ones that need to be drilled. That the main garden I got pretty good. So I got um, a little bit of lettuce still coming up, stuff like that. Some cabbages I'm gonna transplant. Trying to get some big ones. Guy down the road he has huge cabbages. And that things are huge. I'm like good lord. There's uh, had some wildflowers in there. I, don't, I think they're starting to come up. But it's been so dry, we haven't got much rain. We miss everything. And I got um, beets here. I need to, um, not beets, uh, turnips. I need to thin them out. And then down there, what I'm trying to plant here is, um, is uh, beets there. And I got my carrots. I need to thin them out. Well, be too many for the whole meat. Two per hole, I guess. And then I got, uh, let's see what we got here. Strawberries, just to put in a little bit of strawberries out. Like I said, it's been so dry. My asparagus down there, I need to cut them down. Got green beans, llama beans, we got sunflower seeds, sunflower. Okay. Corn, I just planted a couple more down this way. That's corn, whole row corn. I got row tomatoes. And then up there, where my llama beans didn't come up at the end, I planted the rest of my little uh, tomato plants I had up in the greenhouse to get rid of them. So I probably have, probably got like 80 tomato plants planted. <laughs> so this one's zucchini. I need to spray. Something's eating, eating the leaves up. I don't know what it is. Let me spray. I got zucchini, cucumbers, uh, watermelon. And then I got, I think this is, um, oh, cantaloupes, cantaloupes. And then, not sure what I planted there. I started to plant some pumpkins, but I only planted like a short row. And then, I got another row of zucchinis and another few row of cucumbers down this way. They're just starting to come up. Like I said, there ain't no uh, water. Been dry. Got the pigs. Always want some food. What you doing, piggy piggy? What you doing, baby? Oh, you want some food? Oh. <laughs> Let's get over here. Lock up this because I ain't getting nowhere with the drilling, so. Lock it up. I gotta lock it up because the chickens will um, get in here and eat everything up. That's why I put the fence up. Uh, Let's give the animals a little food, I guess. All right, I'll give you all some food. She got her guinea pig out here. It's like a uh, like a chicken trap, but she's dragging it all over. It. it ate up that little bit. So, and so far it's been okay with nothing tearing it up at night. So uh, I want to show you my store over there that I'm uh, building, I'm trying to get ready. My corn, it's really suffering. Need some rain. We've had a couple rainstorms come through, and we got some spits out of it. That's about it. I mean, really, uh, no, uh, no, no kidding about it. Uh, pretty much just the spits. Uh, I've been cheering the, the the animals. I got um, I got uh, George pretty good. I got Lamb Chop pretty good. I got one of her babies from the year before, and I started doing Gloria. But it was really hot out, and she was having a fit. So she, <laughs> she got about halfway done. That's a bit. Well, I'll try and catch up on you later. In a minute. And I still got like uh, these two to go. I got a little baby to go, and then I got uh, there's Dolly somewhere around there. Dolly, I do. No, that's a uh, oink oink. Anything? I uh, uh, he's a uh, hairy pig and uh, potbelly pig. Um, 
But the guy that do butcher stuff he says that uh, pot belly is, ain't nothing but fat and it ain't worth it because by the time you do the hanging weight, uh, you have to pay for nothing but fat. So leave in your comments, tell me what you think about that. And these other pigs here, I don't know, man, what do you think? They weigh like, uh, um, uh, probably like 150 pounds. I got a thing, I'll see if I hook one of them up. I probably could get the black one hooked up, maybe weigh them up. But, um, they're, you know, they, they're grazers. They eat a lot of grass. They're probably pretty lean. The last one I had was really lean. Didn't have oily any fat at all. Well, let's get in here and feed these guys. I got some uh, pl old plywood over there. I'm trying to make these. I got to make a, um, a laying nest for the um, the chickens so she can have a, a laying nest on the ground so they, you know, when they, when they hatch, they don't fall out the box and stuff and then um i'm gonna make two uh tra chicken tractors one for the turkeys and one for the ducks and i'm gonna put the ducks halfway in the water i think so that's, that's the thing because they just get eaten up if i don't and then I'm, I'm, both of them i'm gonna put little nest bins on them too but there's a uh, ground beads on that plywood there i got that for free but it's it's almost last leg i don't know and i just got some more boards um they went up from about four dollars a board to freaking eight dollars a board ridiculous i don't have anything in my greenhouse except for those about three tomatoes over there so let's get these guys some food so i'm going to show you my store that i got going on over there and i started painting the fence yeah 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 Try not to feed them too much in the summer. They eat the grass. I'll get them. Even the pigs, they got, they're like, I said, they're crazy. They both, both of them so. Need to run back up to that Royal King there. I got my, uh, I was kind of looking for, um, I was holding everything off and trying to get some, uh, some real fancy looking chicken she wanted. We couldn't find any this year. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, so I ain't going back around and especially feed you, come on, so I started painting that fence, this fence ain't bad because I did that last year, so see it's holding pretty good, it's not too bad, it's drying out though, it needs the same coat, another coat on it, but anyway I need to paint all these corners, I got a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff. Still haven't got my drain field done yet. We're Tuesday. We're supposed to be a grant out there, and we're trying to get the grant. So Tuesday to go for a meeting. This lady's been running us around, uh, and the contractors are getting kind of pissed off because I've had to make them go back and change their contract. I think we're down to two. I don't think the the third one. I mean, the middle one won't even call us back anymore. So I think he's done. And uh, the one guy, pretty expensive. And the cheaper guy, I think, if we didn't get the grain at all, he'd be cheaper than the, the most expensive guy. So, anyway, I don't know what to do. It's been a couple of months now. <laughs> and to get it pumped out, it's like, uh, um, it's like almost $400. It's three, three something, I think. You get it pumped out every time. Anyway, plant some uh, grass to eat up here 
trying to get this uh, grown up and growing and stuff. And I figured I'd put inside, this would be my little uh, farm stand. So I closed in the wall to separate the front from the back. Plus there's a drop off right there at the bottom. It goes down about uh, uh, four feet, I think. It used to be a koi pond or something. But anyway, uh, inside there, I was wondering what to put in there. My daughter says put some pea gravel. And yeah, it's kind of expensive. My wife says put the same stuff we got in the dry, dry with it. Well, I had a um, crushing run at first, but then I put the 57s on top. So I was asking her which one. She wasn't sure what I was talking about. So, <laughs> um, I was thinking if I could get the next size down from the 57s. But I don't know if this Corey carries minimum stuff. So I don't know if they got it or not. I'll have to see. But uh, yeah, the, the pea gravel, that's pretty expensive. But I could do a load of the... Uh, the 57s or the next size down maybe would be good and if this grass starts to grow but it's so dry i got watered i watered it and it's it dried back out it's all dry but anyway you can see back of this fence i don't know if it's kind of the sun's kind of bad you can see how, how dry it is but anyway i put a coat coat of paint on it actually my grandson helped me <laughs> And uh, it really sucked it up. I mean, it's, it sucked it up real bad. So I'm thinking, it looks pretty good though. I'm thinking if I, uh, if I put one more coat on, it'll look real good. But anyway, uh, what I do is, uh, I did on that fence. This fence here, I bought the um, fence, uh, farm fencing paint. And it's a uh, um, petroleum base paint you know, oil-based paint, and I painted it, and it sucked it right up, and I painted that back there, what I did with this coat here, there I did too, I think it does a lot better job, so I had some, my last house had an asphalt driveway, so I put some uh, petroleum, it was a petroleum-based asphalt sealer, it's hard to find because uh, they won't let you have that in any of the Lowe's or Home Depot and stuff, it's all uh, latex stuff, but anyway, um, I, I thinned it out with some diesel fuel and I painted that fence and it came out really good and it's withstanding this fence a lot better than than that one so I, I went ahead and bought another five gallons and I thinned it out with some diesel fuel and I mean it sucked it up <laughs> this fence was like like a wet paper towel sucking it up so uh, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to come back and do another coat on it and then I got the whole back side to do and then I got that fence and that fence and I gotta finish that shed there, and I gotta finish the uh, wood shed on the back of the house. I'm uh, making a little table. My wife said go ahead and use these legs. We got an old table on or something. But I don't know. I was thinking maybe I should go ahead and just make some legs to match the table. Let's <laughs> kind of just kind of wobble it like that. But maybe just unsettled ground. I don't know. And then I got to put boards on like this side. See, I put the boards on there, on that side over there. I got to do that yet. But uh, yeah, and then I got to, let me show you around the other side. But this this will be the store. I don't know what, what we're going to do. I got a little money box there. And uh, definitely we'll be selling eggs and hopefully tomatoes this year. Everything got eaten by the, the chickens last year. So, see my uh, wife's rose bush over there? Let me see if you see it. It's right there. It's like four rose bushes, but it used to be a uh, like a 70 foot tall pine tree. And it was the only tree that we worried about crashing on the house. And then lightning hit it one night. And we were saying, yeah, let's take it. <laughs> the neighbors were mad because it had been there. And we figured it out that, you know what it was? It was the, um, it was the uh, people that moved in this house. It was the first Christmas tree. Because it was, we figured it back to about 1970. That's when they built the house. But anyway, yeah, see, this is the back of the wall, and this is the koi pond used to be. I just took the back of the wall out and cleaned it up on the ends, and I used to park my tractor and stuff like that. That's my 1950 corn planter, one row corn planter. But anyway, <clears throat> I got to get some anchors, and then I'm going to put a rebar down there and fill that with concrete. Like a couple of them. Get some down in there. This one here, you probably can get down in there. Definitely won't get this one filled up because it's got crack going down the side. Going down there. And then the end one. 
and fill them up with concrete. Now keep it from, you know, crashing in later on maybe. Because these, these ends I built here, I filled those with the concrete and rebar on the end. And so, yeah, that's my garage. It's just pretty tall too. <laughs> with this, with it being down in this hole. But, um, yeah. I got my orchard. That's, uh, I think I might get some apples. Definitely look like we got peaches. Need to spray that. I need to spray tomorrow, probably. Especially since it didn't rain. Look, some birds attacking each other. Oh, my granddaughter found the bird. And we couldn't find a nest for it. We looked all over for it. So she took it in. We've been feeding it. It's, uh, it's, it flies. It's starting to fly and stuff. But I don't think it's going to be able to figure out how to eat on its own yet. So I, I'm not sure what to do with it. Uh, so that's a little catch up.